Hey guys, welcome to the 15th video of my series. So, um, since the last three videos, we have been quite a bit interested and more focused on the capturing, on the group capturing concept, right? We have been trying to extract information from the groups and so on. But there can be some cases where we are not interested in extracting the information um, inside the parentheses, okay? So, for one example can be alteration. In the case of alteration, all we need is just we want to group together the regular expressions which we want to be alterated. Other than that, we do not want to capture only that particular part of alteration. So alteration can be an example where you may want to have non-capturing groups. So let me show an example so that you understand what I'm saying. So first of all, let me import the regex module. Now I have some text which says I love cats and I love dogs. And what if I want to find all the strings which I want to match the strings which are of the form I love cats or I love dogs. So what can I do with is I can use the concept of alteration for the I love and the part after that. So the part after I love I am using alteration and I am putting parentheses in which I am putting cats and dogs. So what it means is it will match I love cats as well as I love dogs. So if I just run it and I check the I use the find all method over my pattern. Look at that I get only cats and dogs. So what is the reason behind it? The reason behind it is that um, the find all function actually returns you the um, contents of the first matching group. The first matching group that we have here is this particular group. So the value that we are getting from these groups is either cats or dogs. It is not the complete thing. I love cats or I love dogs. Right. So that is the problem. So what I can do is that I want to I don't I am not interested basically in extracting the only this particular part from the pattern. OK. So take a look at this example first. If I just try to use the find iter function over my pattern uh, on this text and if I check the group zero and the group one, let us see what happens. So basically the group zero, as you know, is actually applied over your complete um, regex pattern like this right so this is your group 0 so it will cover the entire text which is being matched so match.group0 will give you i love cats from the first line and group 1 will give you i love dogs from the second line but your group 1 group 1 is actually this parenthesis block that will give you only cats and dogs right so now the thing to understand here is that we actually do not need this group the group 1 is of no use to us so what can we do so if we do not want to have the group 1 basically we do not want to uh, implement group capturing we do not we are not interested in group capturing then we can just um, tell your reject we can simply tell our regex engine that we do not want group capturing and how do we do that we do that by making our group a non capturing group by using this particular syntax so let us try to implement it so all you have to do is pattern is equal to re dot compile in which I will put I love so it is cats or dogs and then I am gonna put a question mark and colon so question mark and colon will make your group non capturing which simply means that it will not be considered uh, the text that is extracted by only this part it will not be um, um, will not be contained in your match object so let us see the result pattern dot um, find all txt so look at that you are getting the complete results because there is only one group which is the complete group so you are getting i love cats i love dogs and if you just try to um, matches is equal to pattern dot or let's say for match in pattern dot find iter In which let's say you pass txt so what do you get print match so let us see how many matches are we getting now look at that we are getting only one match each for each sentence i love cats i love dogs whereas in the case of okay so we are getting okay so let me just check groups match dot groups so basically we are not getting any extra group right so match dot group one will give you error because there is no such group match.group0 is only available and it is containing your complete information okay so in this way we have just created a, we have made our group non-capturing and it has no effect on the output in the way that the extra groups in the result are not being created so yeah so this is how you do that 
and now you cannot refer to only this much part of your result so many a times you might need um, non caption groups like when you are using alteration or maybe when you are using quantifiers over a group of um, characters in those cases as well so yeah so this was all about non captioning groups um, if you still have doubts you feel any kind of confusion you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching